kinda slow And it's just to let you know That I keep these bitches clean With the black magic foam I know you looking at me shitty Cause you think I think I'm tight But yo, I keep it greedy So I think you might be right You can doubt me every day You can say I'm selling crack But you really know what's up Cause my name is on the back That's your boy TVMA right there. Go get you that new jaunt on iTunes. Search TVMA. Shit's on there. It's dope. Anyways, it's a little, uh, a little bit of squeegee time here with T Squeegee. Um, doing the uh, zero degree video. Um, I talk about it all the time. The Unger zero degree handle. In combination with the S Plus channel in this uh, little video here, I am using the 18 inch uh, S Plus channel, uh, the Unger S Plus channel. Um, I got some black diamond rubber in there though, but uh, all Unger today. Um, I'm just a big fan of the S Plus channels and the zero degree uh, handles. They're just for the my style of window cleaning the way i do things they just work out perfect for me um i don't have to climb in the booths um i can uh work over top of objects without climbing around um it just you know it just leaves a, an awesome finish and it does a really good job and uh you can close out like a boss like right there i mean it just it just does its thing i mean just look at that man just does its job. Start and finish. Look at those start. I mean, geez, man. What do you want from a channel? And that's a flat pull across there. Um, dudes like Steve-O, that's like their pet peeve. Never do that. Well, I do it, so, you know, blow me. Um, but, yeah, man, I just dig them. Uh, one of a guy I worked with, an older guy I worked with, he had the, the, the very first version of this uh, handle. And we used to use them on, he used it on skylights. And uh, I was like, man, seriously? He's like, oh, man, this is going to work awesome. Watch. And we jammed that skylight job out out of that fucking lift basket quicker than shit with this flat channel. Um, this flat handle, I mean, the zero degree handle with the, he had a brass channel in his, but it did, the S plus wasn't out at the time. I, I don't think. This is quite a while ago, but uh I mean, we just cruise through it. I mean, just working over the top of our heads, you know, don't have to worry about the angle. You know what I mean? It just, it works absolutely perfect. It's, um, any window cleaner should have a zero degree handle in their arsenal. I'm not saying it has to be Unger's. Um, Unger's is just the best, I think. I've tried several, um, options like this. Um, one of them was kind of generic, but, um, I really, really, really like the handle. Um, I don't use this style of handle 
for anything else but this. Everything else are uh, Unger handles. The Ninja Unger handles with the lockable swivel. I, I just really like those a bunch for uh, cleaning windows. I just, you know, and that's all I do anyways is clean windows. So I, I just really, really uh, like those uh, handles. The zero degree handles, you know, they just can't be, they can't be matched. They're the best. I don't know if they're the best, but I really, really like them. Um, they're durable. I it, I tend to lose these more than break. Them. I've never broken one of these. All I do is end up losing them. So, <laughs> you know, but it's a uh, it's a nice piece of gear to have on you. You never know. Um, I use I have a fourteen, uh, a twelve, a fourteen, and an eighteen. I use the eighteen and the twelve the most. The twelve I can fan with over my head. It's on a pole it's just badass um but you know to each their own but i, I you know it's i would i highly recommend it um i think uh, you should have a lot of tools at your disposal and um and this is a this one will get you out of a jam or two it's got me out of a jam or two i do a lot of skylights with it on a pole <clears throat> it, it just you know that way I'm not, you know, if you don't have to bring a ladder in the house, why should you, you know? And it kind of saves me from doing that quite often. It's nice for pole work, which I didn't get too much uh, high pole work in this video. Well, I didn't do any I was going to, but, you know, it is what it is. I just didn't edit out, and this video is already long enough as it is. Um, it's barely holds your uh, attention as, you know doing it the way I'm doing it I just maybe I should make my video shorter I don't know maybe I should be like everyone else but I like doing it the way I do it you know so sue me watch 10 minutes and turn it off and then come back tomorrow and watch the other 10 minutes I'm okay with that 17 oh, 1709 split it in half split it in half but as you can see I dive into the in and out of the top corners like I normally do, um, but the closing out is just so simple, and the starting off is just it it starts off beautifully, you know. It just as long as you there's a little bit of a learning curve, you know. You got to kind of hold the uh, the squeegee out a little bit differently than you normally would on a pole, but once you get it down, man, it just it the starts the the begin your beginnings and your closeouts are just Cutting in and closing out is just awesome. You can't, I mean, I love it. And again, you know, they, they last. Um, they're good. Uh, this is, Unger has good equipment. Um, not a lot of people talk about Unger, you know what I mean? But I'm a huge fan. It's durable as shit. I still have my original first run Ninja Handle and Ninja T-Bar. The ones that don't lock. And the only reason why I don't use them anymore is because they don't lock. That's the only reason. But I love those. I mean, you know, those Unger tools last. This pole that I've got in my hand right here, I use it every single day. I use it six days a week, and this is going on four, five years. I've had it five years. Um, yeah, five years. Actually, no, I'm going on my sixth year. Wow time flies it's 2018 yes yeah, six years i've had this bowl i just replaced the lock the locking mechanism and the handle um i just replaced the guts the its original handle the only thing that's different is the lock mechanism that's that grips the uh the small section of pole um i just love it i have a california dream pole and it's okay but i've been having issues getting it to stay locked so i just stopped using it until I figure that out. I like the stiffness, stiffness of the California Dream Bowl. It's a nice... St I said stiff. <laughs> stiff. But it's a nice, heavy, stiff pole. It's really great. But just the locking mechanism needs work. But, you know. Don't take my word for it. Try it out. Here I am again on my... Uh, on my 22, son. 22, son. I just, you know, nothing beats a Sorbo channel, man. <laughs> Those wide body uh, Sorbo channels, they're just badass, dude. They're just the best. I know a lot of people try to copy them, but they're just, stick with the original. Trust me, it's worth it. 
But yeah, man, um, you know, I've got a bunch of videos in the vault. I've got five. This might be six. Yeah, this is six or seven. I don't know. I'm going to just crank these out. So you're probably going to get these a week late. But, you know, this is a Monday morning. And I just wanted to do uh, a little uh, Unger uh, zero degree handle video for you guys. I really feel like it's an unsung hero. Not a lot of people talk about it. Um, and I think it's worth talking about. It's uh, it's a badass piece of kit, man. And uh, everyone should have one, maybe two, in their arsenal. You know what I mean? It gets you out of trouble. It's the best. Um, send your uh, questions for the podcast to uh, asktsqueegee at yahoo.com. I'll answer them on the show. If you want to be a guest, send me an email. I'll get you on. Um, as you can see, um, if you watch the podcast, you know we're not biased. We'll have anyone on. We're not bad dudes. So, you know, <clears throat> we're willing to give anyone a shot. So come on, give us an email at asktsqueegee at yahoo.com. Tell us a story about Bigfoot or some shits. I don't know. You know, tell us about that one time you got chlamydia. I, I mean, I don't know. Ask us a question. Suggest a guest. Whatever man or just be like yo what's up check us out on itunes um pod bean um youtube outlaw window cleaner and uh t squeegee man um go to uh www.futurecleaning.com uh, forward slash gunslinger and get you a gunslinger man it's badass you see it in this video being all badass and go to www.outlawwindowcleaner.com get you some uh t-shirts some black diamond squeegee rubber, um, a coffee mug, you know, all kinds of cool shit's coming down the pike here just before Christmas, we hope. We hope. Uh, we're not sure how that's going to work, but we hope. But no matter what, with it, over the next coming months, we're going to be putting up some pretty cool stuff, new stuff, um, and we're going to be offering some pretty cool shit, and I think a lot of guys are going to like it. So, you know, just stay tuned, guys, and uh, we, uh, we appreciate you, and thanks for watching, and... Um, you know, I don't know. Enjoy this little tidbit here at the end. I give you a little two-minute dissertation on why uh, zero-degree handles are cool. And um, none of it makes sense. And I thought you guys would get a kick out of it. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you later, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Yeah, I did a little video there of you, so you guys can see my zero degree, how I use my zero degree in restaurants. Uh, it's awesome. You don't have to climb into the booth. You don't have to, uh, you know, keep taking the squeegee off the pole. I just, you know, keep it on the pole and I'm able to, you know, get everything, you know, like I would if I was right up on top of it with the squeegee, you know, so I dig it for that. You know, it's just a versatile tool, and um, it, it, it gives you a, a nice finished product and makes things quicker. Um, very minimal detailing with that thing. And I, you know, I do, I mean, you guys see me, I wipe everything. I'm just, it's habit. I bet that's the way I was trained to do it. We always wipe the framework down. The gaskets are always, the rubber gas between the glass and the window are always clean. That's just... You know, just something that, that was how I was trained to do it. And I'm just, it's in, something ingrained in me. I know a lot of guys, like that S Plus channel, I mean, you really don't need to detail. You know, you really don't. But there is a little bit of, you know, a little bit of water left, a little bit of residue left over on the frames from, the, you know, washing them down. So, you know, it's just, just to make things stay looking good and uh, avoid anything weeping out later on. You never know. Um, I just wipe everything down. You, know, you don't have to do it like me. That's just how I do it. So, you know, it is what it is. You ain't got to like it. You ain't got to watch it. But I appreciate it if you do. Hit that little red bell, man. Hit that little red bell. Um, subscribe. Share with your friends. Give me some ideas for videos. Uh, ask, send me an email to uh, asktsqueegee at yahoo.com. And, uh podcast questions um, podcast guests you want to be a, a guest on the podcast let me know man um, we can set it up for you we'd love to have a you know if you're a business owner on the glass 
banging out windows, you know, let me know. Love to hear from you. Squeegee at yahoo.com, guys. Send me an email. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, I appreciate y'all. For real.